Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. You saw the uh, you saw the thumbnail. Vintage Jerry. There's a clip from this uh, Master Super Chops disc that he made years ago. That I'm on one of the other discs, but not the one I'm on. And he talks about it. Vintage Jerry. I want you to check it out. There's a couple things that are very, very telling. All right? All right? Let me hog, and we will get to Vintage Jerry. Effortless, double high C's, down crest baby, it's a barbed wire. Guys, this little thing that I want you, I'm gonna make this my part quick because I want you to watch this. And I'm gonna leave the link down below, it's from the Master Super Chops, and it's Jerry explaining where he is at the moment. Now this is a good, I'm gonna say close to 25 years ago. There's a date on this somewhere. But uh, 2007, so that would make it 15 years ago. Yeah, that's when it came out. I'm telling you, he was making it long before that, before it actually came out. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's been a while ago. Anyway, he does his explaining, and then he goes off into teaching and letting everybody else uh, play and all this sort of stuff. But what he talks about is this. Number one. I want you to keep in mind several things while you're watching it. It's just the first five minutes or so, and then he gets off and it's a couple hours of other stuff. He was still doing pedal tones back then. Now, he got away from them, but guys, I'm bringing them back. I'm going to do a video tomorrow on pedal tones. I think they're very, very important. Now, what, what I want you to listen to, there's two things when he's doing the pedal tones. Listen to the center and the resonance that he's getting on the pedal tone. It's incredible, okay? And also, look at how relaxed and unfolded his lips are when he's playing that pedal tone. That's what those pictures I get of um, Fattis and um, Horse Fisher and all them, that's it. There's nothing there. It's just fat. Now, you cannot, those are double pedal tones, you cannot play in the regular trumpet register with that embouchure. If you're out here, you bring it back. But do you see, there's really no difference at all in the corners. I'm out here for the double pedal. And there's corners. See, it gets thicker and it goes up, but it's completely relaxed. Okay? Second of all, he's talking about a tongue position that we, didn't, we don't use anymore. Okay? At that time... The tongue was through the teeth and supported, he says, by the bottom lip. Now, I told you, for the longest time, the bottom lip was key. Now, did you hear what I said? The bottom lip was supporting the tongue position. Since we got, now that was old time stuff, since we got into tongue controlled embouchure, it's the tongue that's controlling the bottom lip. Okay, so take that what he said there for a grain of salt. But the tongue is so thick, if you put it and feel like it's at the top of your, on your top lip, okay, and listen to the spit buzz. Oh my God, I told you, him and Dave Steinmeier had the best spit buzzes ever. And if all of a sudden, it feels just as strong as the pedal tone, okay? And last but not least, okay, Guys, you know I love them. I'm not knocking them. But you're going to see 
there's 50 pounds of too much girth around his belly, okay? He couldn't run around the block if you put a gun to his head. But he's getting sound that you wouldn't believe. Now, I do the pedal tones and I do the fitness for health and longevity and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, to feel the hyper radiation and everything. But the fact of the matter is, if it's done correctly, there is no no stress anywhere. He talks about hardly holding the horn, okay? And watch how much little air. He's barely breathing, man. He is barely breathing, okay? Now, one last thing. He talks a couple times. He's only done this. He was only doing this position a day and a half, okay? He does that stuff, man. I think I told you at one point I was at a clinic with him. And he literally got something in his brain the night before. He hadn't played it, and he was trying it out at a clinic. And man, it was not working. And I'm saying things like, well, what he meant to mean was this, but I play something. No, but he would do that. So here we got a, a PBF disc that are going to be here on the internet for the rest of his life, and he's still working with something day and a half. Now what you're going to hear is his G's are locked in, but you're going to see on his right side, okay, it's right there for you, when he goes to the double C, he stretches, gets away from it. That's the day and a half thing, I'm telling you. A day and a half after this, trust me, it's locked in and you don't see that, but you see it clear as day on Jerry of all people, he stretches, it gets away from it. Okay? Pedal tones, the tone and the fleshy uh, chops. Spit buzz, the sound, the projection, the ease of playing on the spit buzz, the tongue position, a little bit different from what we're doing now, but you get the idea. We're sort of the, the dog is wagging the tail back then. The bottom lip was holding the tongue in place. That's asking a lot of the bottom lip. And no air at all. No air at all. Okay? Enjoy. Vintage Jerry. Check it out.